Little detail has emerged about Ukrainian advances on the eastern front line near Kharkiv, but this eyewitness video shows Ukrainian soldiers in Volokiv Yar, a village captured by Russian forces early in the invasion. The Ukrainian president Vladimir Zelensky saying every citizen should feel proud of their soldiers, but he said now is not the time to name other settlements where the Ukrainian flag is returning. The Russian president Vladimir Putin has denied that his country has lost anything in this invasion. And Russia is currently pushing ahead with plans for referendums in occupied regions on November the 4th on whether to become part of Russia. But the US has accused Moscow of a war crime by forcibly deporting Ukrainians, including children, to Russia. Estimates indicate that Russian authorities have interrogated, detained, forcibly deported between 900,000 and 1.6 million Ukrainian citizens from their homes to Russia, often to isolated regions in the Far East. Russia has described the allegations as a new milestone in the disinformation campaign unleashed by the West. As fierce fighting continues in Donbass, the U.S. Secretary of State Anthony Blinken arrived in Kiev this morning, the State Department saying he's expected to announce a further $2 billion in new military financing for Ukraine and 18 other countries, which it says are at risk of future Russian aggression. Eleanor Burnhill, RTE News.